A long time ago, back in 2019, at a small event at Alton Towers, I was lucky enough to very briefly meet a professional roller coaster designer, that being Mr. Jonathan Wardley. This right here is a depiction of it because there's one photo of me and him and I can't find it. I was very interested in roller coaster design back then, which is very different to how I am now. I think I've lost a lot of brain cells over the past three years. So I decided to ask a few questions regarding his career. The main one being, how does one become a roller coaster designer? To which he then replied and told me to learn the program No Limits 2 and said that it's hard to grasp at first, but after learning it fully, you'll be on your way. That's not an exact quote, but I'm making this more dramatic for effect. And that leads me to now, three years later, after being set this amazing roller coasting learning expedition. And yes, I have used Planet Coaster and other games in the past to make roller coasters, but that's more sandboxy and not as fun and not as serious. But this is, it is finally my time to become a roller coaster designer. This is gonna go horribly wrong, I can already feel it. I have no idea what I'm doing. To be fair, with the skills I'm showing here, I'm surprised Alton Towers haven't hired me yet. <laughs> Never mind, this is horrendous. And if you wanna see a part two to this insane, thrilling journey where I'm gonna definitely take my roller coaster design to Merlin, then feel free to subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. So I have arrived on No Limits 2, the roller coaster simulation. Now, a lot of people can buy this. You can play this yourself on Steam. There's a roller coaster. But this software is used by a lot of roller coaster designers to get a good feel of what the physics are like on their rides and make sure that the rides just don't go. So I would assume we go into editor first. And as you can see, most prefab supports are... Uh, 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 this is the tip of the day. I'm going to need a lot more tips. Let's keep clicking through. Editor preferences. The overlay option can be used to show guiding background photos. For example, satellite photos help a lot when rebuilding. This seems complicated already. Right, what am I doing? There's a grey screen. Let's go to new. And then we'll rename the park. What should we name the park? Now that is a good park name. Here we go. We're loading up. And we're in the park. <laughs> Where are the rides? Right, so what we need to do now is we need to somehow figure out what. Sometimes if you listen... Carefully, you can hear my genius. Okay, I'm gonna need some form of tutorial for this. Two hours later. I found my coaster type. We're gonna make a Mac launch coaster like I got. So if we click OK, nothing has happened. Beginning my build. Here we go. I've got the tutorial up. I'm going oh, I'm so good at this. So I need to go into perspective and click right. Oh my, what the hell is it? I know every single person watching this who knows how to play No Limits is probably wanting to die right now. But you know, you got to start somewhere. Oh my God. I'm about to create track for the first time in my life. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Call me a roller coaster designer already. Section type, station. I've actually designed multiple different roller coasters already. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have it go down this launch track here. And then it's going to go into some sort of inversion or airtime hill or something. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, look at that profiling. That is a pretty good airtime hill if I do say so myself. And if we look at the top view, why does it just bend to the right there? I took a little breather and now I am back and as you can see it has been Christmas and I have a cat. Why is my launch banked to the right? Somebody explain. Okay, so I found out I need to add these things called rolls, not red rolls. Oh my god. Look at the g-force on that. So then if I continue turning left, I might make that an outer bank and we can see As you can see here, I'm currently just building an outer bank turn because I don't know. Yeah, thank you. And if we go back into the left view and place along the next launch track. Yes, it was only a small portion at the start, but I was experimenting. My name's Einstein. You know what? The layout so far isn't looking too bad, although I know if I look at it in a POV, it'll probably be awful. Although there is this button on the left that says freeze and uh, what have I done? Oh no. It's actually a roller coaster, it's not just some wires. We go up the airtime hill, round, into a snappy inver- Well, it's not an inversion, first of all, and it's very, very snappy. Um, is that legal? 
Is that able to be publicly allowed? And you know what? I have decided that after this second launch, we're going to go quite a bit faster. We're going to make it go into a top hat. Obviously, the game doesn't like the forces that... Oh, my God. Right, let's try it from over here this time. We go up nicely. Yep, cool. There's... That's a lot of red. Let me go up even more. Uh... Why does it bank off to one side? Right, I'm lowering the launch speed slightly so we can actually not have those red spikes. <laughs> not to 880 kilometers an hour, please. And there we go. There's no red spikes. Have I... I've actually outdone physics. There's no such thing as G-Force anymore. But no, it's looking good. We have a nice dive down from the top hat here. That is cool. That is very cool. Going through the layout, it doesn't look half bad with the supporting. Go down there, launch, all good. Uh, that one's not so good. And then, if we head back into the left view, I want to try and make an inversion here. Yes, a zero G roll. That looks incredibly... Uh, like, you see my spine? So this is my spine. It would be like that by the end of that inversion. So now we're plummeting towards the ground. Uh, I'd do another inversion, but you can actually add your own elements. Hold on. Uh, Cobra roll, port screw, curve. A vertical loop. I'm thinking vertical loop. There we go. Wow. That was beautiful. That was the perfect size, the perfect speed, and the perfect altitude. You know. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm not going to lie. For the rest of the duration of the ride, I sat there in pure silence, just focusing to try and get it right. And it still was horrible. So after never having played this game before and finally learning it, actually getting to grips with the game, the coaster is now complete. I mean, it could be much better than it is, but we'll see. Here we go. Oh, you're going to hear the station noises, the restraints. Into the launch we go. Come on. Here we go. Right. Not too fast. That's a perfect speed. That's exactly what I wanted. A quick left. That's all right. That, mm, oh God, I can see what this is going to be like. Why is there a dip in the track? That also barely makes it, but there we go. Down into the drop. Why is there a bank left? Oh my, okay. Well, it was nice knowing you all. Here we go, curving up to the left. Oh no, that's, no, 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 no. Uh, that bit's not too bad. That, oh God. Oh, oh no, oh no. Why is the brake run curved? Um, I think I'll stick to Planet Coaster.